Hey, hey, welcome to Digging Into the Bible. My name is Jim Barnard. This is a production of Taylor Coaching. All right, it's day four. Thank you for joining me. I almost forgot what day it was. Um, we are starting Romans chapter two today, uh, but before I get there, I was I was uh, actually talking with a friend earlier today who was uh, just giving me all kinds of trouble. He was making fun of me. He's currently going through season one of the podcast, and he's like, man, I love the Gospel of Matthew. I'm learning a lot. It's really great, but um, why do you insist on like doing this five minute thing? Like you clearly struggle with it. You uh, frequently get to six or seven minutes. Like why not just own the fact that you just uh, are, you're going to be six or seven minutes. It's fine. Like who cares? And I'm like, well, yeah, I add the ish onto that, um, you know, cause I, I recognize that I struggle, but there's a reason for this. I want this to be attainable. I want this to be easy. I want people to, um, you know, jump into this, dig in for five minutes, you know, if, if, if I can keep it there, um, and then have extra time to dig in for themselves. Like, I, I just want it to be simple. I want it to be easy. And so I'm going to continue to say it's a five-ish minute podcast. Haven't done five minutes yet this season. It's been six, uh, but this time we're going to do it. I'm convinced. I've wasted a lot of time already, so let's get to it. Let's go ahead and dig in. This is Romans chapter 2, starting at verse 1. Therefore you have no excuse, O man, every one of you who judges. For in passing judgment on another you condemn yourself, because you, the judge, practice the very same things. We know that the judgment of God rightly falls on those who practice such things. Do you suppose, O man, you who judge those who practice such things and yet do them yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you presume on the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? But because of your hard and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when God's judgment, righteous judgment, will be revealed." He will render to each one according to his works, to those who by patience in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immorality, he will give eternal life. But for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury. There will be tribulation and distress for every human being who does evil, the Jew first and also the Greek but glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good, the Jew first and also the Greek, for God shows no partiality. All right, so right on the heels of this talk about uh, righteous living versus unrighteous living, he gets right into a dialogue about judgment. And um, I think this is really important. I think this is um, really key. If you, if you didn't catch it, um, passing judgment on other people, it's not good. Don't do it. Like it's, it's actually really terrible. It's terrible for you when you do it because you put yourself in a seat that you don't belong. And it's terrible for the other person um, because they hate it and it's not helpful. It's just not helpful. Um, so yesterday I referenced the, the God seat. Um, I, I think that this flows perfectly out of what I focused on, verse 25 yesterday, you know, um, how we aren't to worship and serve ourselves. Um, we are to worship and serve the creator. I talked about the God seat. When we try to put ourselves in the God seat, often it looks like putting ourselves in a seat of judgment. You know, that it's very synonymous of the God seat. And that's what Paul is harping on today, that you know, you're trying to put yourself on that seat and you don't belong. Like, that is wrong. You know, I, I said yesterday it was challenging to, you know, kind of navigate a issue of, of homosexuality. And, and you know, it, that is something that, that people do pretty frequently and easily. You know, like, oh, you're you're wrong. Like, that, that's the wrong thing to do. And, you know, that may be very well true, but, like, Gosh, I do wrong things all the time. I am sinful. Like, I don't belong in that seat of judgment. And I I love that Paul uses some sarcasm, some slight sarcasm. In verse 3, he says, do you suppose? And then in verse 4, he's like, or do you presume? Uh, The first one is, is do you suppose judgment won't be met with judgment? Like, do you really think in your right mind that, that that will work out for you? Or do you presume that God's kindness, forbearance, and patience will save you? Because it won't. 
you're doing um, the wrong thing. So like, let's get it right. Like, don't put yourself on that seat. And judgment is very much an action putting yourself on that seat. So with that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Five minutes, baby. I will see you tomorrow as we continue on with Romans chapter two. I'll see you then. (laughs) 